News coming in from Japan and also Taiwan. A 7.5 magnitude earthquake has hit near Taiwan and Japan in turn has now issued a tsunami alert for the southern islands. Japan has said the first wave of a tsunami is believed to have struck two of the southern islands after the strong earthquake. Look at those visuals. It's not a glitch in the visuals. This is the amount of magnitude, the high magnitude that was witnessed that has sent the country shaking. Huali Liu Lake in Taiwan shows violent shaking. This is Taiwan visuals that are on your screen. Violent shake as live webcams captured the moment of 7.5 magnitude, followed by aftershocks and aftershocks also measuring, not at a lower scale, but 7.4 and 6.5 Richter of the magnitude on the scale. I want to immediately bring in our foreign affairs editor, Geeta Mohan, for the latest on that. Geeta, this of course is a reminder of the tsunami that had hit earlier as well, specifically in the subcontinent. Uh, but what are you hearing precisely? What happened? When did this earthquake and tsunami happen? And what is the region looking like right now? The reports that are coming in clearly says that um, uh, uh, multiple buildings have collapsed. Uh, uh, any earthquake beyond seven on the Richter scale, Puja, uh, would mean a devastating impact on uh, the area where the epicenter is. Now, we're given to understand that it's the Hualien Liu Lake in Taiwan uh, that the, where, where uh, there has been massive uh, movement of, of, of the quake and the aftershocks that followed were also measuring between 7.4 and 6.5 on the Richter scale. The houses and buildings are damaged and have collapsed in Taiwan uh, after this massive earthquake. And yes, Japan, as also Taiwan, have issued tsunami alerts for, uh, uh, for the areas around where the earthquake took place, in Japan particularly for the southern islands. Uh, this, this is going to be serious. We have to wait and see what the damage and the loss is. But the visuals that are coming in of the, uh, the earthquake clearly show that the magnitude beyond 7.7 mm. uh, was really high. And you can see swaying of buildings, uh, but also a massive damage with collapsed buildings as well. Geeta, do tell us, in a situation when tsunami hits, we've all seen what has happened, specifically even in the Indian Ocean region, uh, in the southern part of uh, India and Sri Lanka, Thailand, Indonesia, when it had happened a few years ago, 2004, uh, if I'm correct. Uh, but at this juncture, what sort of preparations do you think can be done? Because Japan, Taiwan are in that belt. Uh, do you think that they, they would have some arrangements in place? Because, you know, and I don't want to say it, but the fact is when tsunami hits, it's very difficult to escape it. Well, Puja, one, these are areas that are uh, on the tectonic plate yes. where uh, they are susceptible to earthquakes. Uh, the first thing that these countries have done is to ensure that, you know, they, uh, the, most of their buildings uh, can uh, withstand uh, earthquakes even up to seven on the Richter scale. Uh, in Japan, well, not so long ago, you saw uh, an earthquake mm -hmm. that hit uh, 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 an area in Japan, which was about seven on the Richter scale, and yet you saw swaying of buildings, but none of the buildings really collapsed. So they make sure that, they, that their buildings are earthquake resistant. Okay. Uh, that uh, the, the infrastructure is, is earthquake mm. res resistant. But tsunamis are an, an earthquake cannot be predicted way in advance. Correct. That's a major disadvantage of these areas, these countries, mm. uh, which face uh, earthquakes on a very regular basis. Mm. Uh, we're being told the reports that are coming in is Japan's Okinawa. Uh, airport has suspended air flight operations okay. after the tsunami alert. Uh, so situation does look quite tense and serious. Uh, again, these are all precautionary measures that countries take. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the, people, the alerts have been sounded out. So, out so we'll be tracking the latest on that. It's a developing story. We, of course, hope that everyone's safe. But in Taiwan, there has been a massive earthquake of about 7.5 magnitude on the Richter scale. Plus, there's a tsunami alert that has been sent out across Japan. Thank you, Geeta Mohan, for all the latest.
哎，那个不要摸那个电线，很危险。And with these visuals, because it appears that the situation there is a turning slightly grave. Because just let's just uh, help you understand what's happening. This is Taipei, Taiwan visuals, where uh, the warning first of the uh, the tsunami has been issued after a massive earthquake. Take a look at that visual when the live cam webcam starts to shake. We are told that uh, this was uh, and and while Japan and Taiwan have been used to it, but this powerful earthquake have hit. But it's not just about the earthquake. When the aftershocks came, the earthquake that was 7.5 magnitude, the aftershocks were as high at about 7.5 and over 6 on the Richter scale. Joining me now is uh, journalist Bing Wong for the latest on that. Uh, Mr. Wong, can you help us understand what is the situation like? There's been a high magnitude uh, earthquake, then there is a tsunami alert that has been also sent out. What is the situation looking like? What happened on the ground? Right. So uh, a seven-point earthquake uh, hit eastern Taiwan in the city of Hualien.、Uh, that's where most of the damage has been done.、Uh, we see multiple collapsed buildings in that city.、Um, so far, we haven't heard any、uh, body that's been injured or have been、uh, or, or died so far,、uh, but. The shocks were felt everywhere throughout Taiwan, and we're still feeling aftershocks.、Um, mm. Even two, two,、uh, almost one, one and a half hours after the initial earthquake. Mr. Wong, tell me this: What time did this earthquake come? And、uh, if you can help me understand to the viewer watching, what did it feel like? Because 7.5 magnitude is on a very high scale. Was was everything around shaking?、Uh, was it very clear that this is going to be a, a, a big earthquake that's happened? Yeah.、Uh, so I live on the seventh floor in a 1950s built building,、mm. and it was shaking very hard for about a minute and a half. Uh, all of my books, my bookshelf fell out, fall,、mm. fell off my bookshelf.、Uh, my dishes were 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 falling onto the floor.、Mm. Uh, I could hear my neighbors screaming.、Um, uh, car alarms were sounding outside.、Mm. Uh, and this is just、mm. in Taipei, where it, where it's still hundreds of miles, hundreds of kilometers away from、yes. the the epicenter of the of, of the earthquake. And that, and that perhaps the, reflects how so serious and how perhaps、uh, close to the surface this could have been. My final question, Mr. Wong, is how prepared is the Taiwan administration? Because if Japan has also given a tsunami alert, there's clearly a lot that the people and the governments will have to be ready with. What are you picking up on the sort of understanding that the government may have, the arrangements that should be or would be ma being made, and are people already trying to evacuate their residents or they are staying put? Um, so、uh, the government is giving a press conference right now,、okay. uh, and they're talking about、uh, how we're, 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 we are going to feel aftershocks after、mm. um, uh, throughout the entire day today.、Um, uh, they are trying to、uh, find if there are any injured people at the at the epicenter of the earthquake.、Yes. Um, I, I do believe the Taiwanese government will be able to handle the situation because Taiwan、uh, frequently gets a lot of、uh, earthquakes. Yes.、Um, and, but this is the strongest one in 25 years. Uh, uh, but like I said before, Taiwan is prone to earthquakes, so、mm. I think the Taiwanese government will be able to handle.、Uh, This one and、uh, and its aftershocks. Mr. Bing Wong, I appreciate you joining us. Stay safe and let's hope that、uh, this is the end of it. But we'll be tracking here from India about the developing story coming in from Taiwan and in Japan as well. Look how the buildings have collapsed and clearly the nature's fury felt by those inside, even and specifically like here on the higher floors of the residential buildings. That guy, eh? Got any guy? Got guy, eh? Yeah.